Well, hello there. How are you? Good to see you. And um, welcome to the next episode of making mannequin heads into planters. Dun, 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 dun. Creepy eyes. <laughs> All right. So um, I wanted to do the next step. We've got her head marked with the last one. See, it's much more even now. Centered, even. Do, 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 do. It's all marked and done. I love this hair, so I want to take off as little as of the scalp itself as possible. With this one, because I learned the lesson from, as I mentioned before, um, the first head that we did, which was, which is Basil, because he has basil in his head that's dying at this point. Um, the basil doesn't have, basil's head has too much too many brains left behind, too much goo. Um, so I'm gonna need to actually go through Basil again, empty out Basil's head all the way down. So that's what we're gonna do on this one. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to jump right into cutting the scalp. Mm, it's gonna be gross. And then um, popping off that skin and then really digging into <laughs> getting all the innards out. Ah! Love it. So, uh, I wanted to show you something though. It's very useful. So I don't know if you've ever used one of these. This is a utility knife. You can get them at any hardware store. Um, obviously I use mine for drywall. So this one <clears throat> and the drywall blade is um, really beaten up because we've been cutting and doing all of that and drywall is um, well, drywall, whatever it's made out of, mortar board or whatever they call it. Um, so it dulls the blades actually rather rather quickly, um, which is not going to be a bad thing for on here. But one thing, I, one magical thing that I wanted to show you about drywall. Oh, and look at that. This is my favorite kind of screwdriver. We'll get to the the drywall or the um, the cutter. You can get these anywhere. This is the best kind of screwdriver that you could ever get. Just it doesn't matter brand. Even the cheapest ones are excellent. So they have, they're brilliant. They convert. One end is flathead. So no, no more of this. Where's my flathead screwdriver? Oh no, it's Phillips head, which is the crosshair thread, thread, right? Nope. It has all. And each side, you can take out the bit. It's got a little nub, little ball, capture ball that has like a little spring or something to it or it's just a capture yeah it's got a little spring in there incredible that it has a spring i don't it's just the miracles of, of the world look one end is big one end is little cool right so put it back in pop this back in here it's it's got a little capture ball that's on a spring see that Pop that back in, and you have a Phillips head screwdriver. <gasps> Ready? Miracle. It's like a magic trick. And I have a flathead screwdriver. And I didn't go anywhere to get another screwdriver. So these are great, you know, for most projects. Like, the great majority of projects, this is great for. If you need, like, a really long one to be able to get in somewhere, blah, 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 use those. If you need a little teeny one, use a little teeny one. But these, for the most part, because it has the two different size heads as well, for each the flathead and the Phillips. Love them. When I found them years and years and years and years ago, they started making these and they're like super solid, like, eh, right? You can really get in there and work well. When they, so whoever designed this originally, it's freaking brilliant. You gotta love it. So with the utility knife, there's a screw on the side, right? So what I'm about to show you is gonna like blow your mind. You're gonna be like, oh, they did what? So this is another brilliant design. These people who design these things, let me tell you, they obviously design them with use in mind. Some things are well designed. So pull back and off. You try to pull straight up, whoop, it won't go. <laughs> back and up. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So what kind of tools do you use? You use whatever heck is around for doing it. They has Look at that, a compartment built into the handle 
that's made to hold extra blades. Aww. Right? So you don't have to go looking for blades. You gotta love it. So the blade gets mounted in here on the on the front part. It's a little wiggly jiggly funky when you put it in. You have to get it set just settled in correctly. Patience, patience Obi-Wan or patience whoever it is. Um, patience Luke. And then you have extra blades in the in the handle. So you get you can have a fresh blade. The brilliant part about this also, one end of the blade gets dulled, flip it over, pop it back in, let it settle down. Relax, calm as you do this. Calmate, as, as Lara says. Pop it back on. You have an extra blade in there still. When you get a package of blades, you can put in a, like five or six blades in there and you're good to go for a while. I put the screw back on, magic screwdriver, magic convertible screwdriver. Right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. And you got your utility knife. Utility knives, the good heavier duty ones, for me, the heavier weight ones with a slimmer body here, are the better ones. The thicker, chunkier, lightweight ones are harder to manage. They don't fit in the hand as well. And because they have no weight behind them, they don't balance out. So I know they're all packaged and stuff like that, but this is a Stanley, like back when it was before Stanley Black & Decker, I think it's old. Uh, I've had it for many, many, many years. But the beauty of it is it's the like this a simple mechanical thing. The spring is just literally in the metal itself. Got position one, little nubbins. Position two, halfway out. Position three, all the way out. And let me tell you, I use all three positions when I'm doing drywall or anything like that, because if I just want to score, I put it at the littlest, and all you're gonna do is have that much go in that far, that little teeny bit. You see that right in front of my face? That's going to go just that far and you can control it a lot better when you use just that much coming out compared to the entire blade, which then gets a little wiggy because the, the blade is not, you hear that? It moves a little bit, right? So with what we're doing, I'm going to put it on half and whoo, sun's coming in. Ha! Spotlight. Where's my light? Ah. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually blind because of it. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to move over a little bit. But so creepy doll is, or creepy doll, creepy head is gonna be looking at you. Oh, this actually makes me think, see how the drips are under? Maybe I'll enhance that a little bit and make it a little bit with just a little pink. Just give her a little bit more creep. And I kind of like the, I was thinking about doing lips on her, but I kind of like the fact that she doesn't have definition lips. This is gonna be one where you go out and you're like, oh God, it has to be in a pole too. So she has to be hanging like this, right? <laughs> I love it. I'm not even going to braid her hair. I'm just going to leave it long and out. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Well, this is not a good time for me to be working down here. So I'm going to take the knife. I'm going to let's see if I can grab her. Actually, you know what I can do? I am going to take my mounting bracket. It will make it easier to control her. Because of all this hair, I do want to be able to put it on an angle where you can see as I'm cutting her hair or her head, but it'll also stabilize it a little bit. Come on, come on. There we go. There. And tighten that down. There we go. All right, here we go. Getting right in here. I'm gonna dig right in. It doesn't matter where I start. Oops, lock that into place. Oh, also when using these. So the design is great that they have this button so you can slide it right. It's also a pain in the ass, quite honestly, pain in the butt, because if you're like me and you tend to go like this when you do stuff, your thumb is on the button and the button makes it so that the blade moves or the button, you don't want your thumb to be on the button. You gotta have, you gotta hold it without your thumb there. Because even if you're behind it, you're going to slide on it. And it's a huge pain in the butt. I wish they have ones where they, they do have them, where they're just a set blade and the, the blade is just always out because they, they like open up. 
you know, like a folding knife and you can replace the blades. But just so you know, if you're going to go in like this, your blade's going to be sliding all over the place and you're going to be slip sliding away. So hold it like this. Okay. It'll give you a good, nice grip. You just got to get used to holding it that way. So here we go. <clears throat> Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going full blade. Make sure I'm locked in. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a nice sound. <sighs> Want to make sure it's, this is a razor blade, right? Utility blade. So keep your hands out of the way, people. Patrick. <laughs> that's just nasty. All right, there we go. Oh my God. Yeah, so in the last episode, I started getting like all choked up, right? <laughs> it's all choked up. Well, yeah, I was all choked up because this hair, when I was combing out the hair, all the dust and crap that had gotten caught in it was just, oh my God, overwhelming. So I'm just following on the outside of my line. But like I mentioned before, if you cut out too much, you can't put it back in. I guess we can, we proved that with barnacle, Barney the barnacle head. I just glued it back on. So I guess there's nothing really that's irreparable, right? And where is it going? It's going outside. So I tried to talk to guys into, you're gonna get a kick out of this. Um, we've been talking about, you know, where does stuff go and decorating outside because we all enjoy, love our landscaping and the new house here in West Hartford. And so we were talking about in the driveway, we have this in really interesting split driveway. It goes two driveways that come down with a berm in the middle, uh, which is fabulous because it's easy for three cars. We've got a two car garage, but we have three of us living here and um, we have three cars and a motorcycle. I have a motorcycle. Um, so with that in mind, there's this nice little retaining wall because we live in the side of, of, of a hill, the mountain. For Connecticut, it's, I guess, a mountain. Uh, it's called, we live literally on the mountain is what they call it. But anyway, so there's that little retaining wall. It's only a couple feet tall, but it's a nice stone wall. And then there's a, like a ledge on top of the stone wall. And there's a, there's a pagoda right on there and there's decorative stuff. And so we were talking about, well, what should be on that wall? because we're gonna move one of the pagodas, um, well, Larry's gonna move the pagoda down. All right, so now I need to, into the, the garden area that we've reclaimed that used to be just gigantic bushes. Um, so I was like, oh, I could do mannequin heads all along the wall. <laughs> yeah. The reaction wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Although it was actually what I kind of anticipated it was going to be. Because the reaction was like, no! It was instant, like, <laughs> oh, no. And I was like, oh, but that would be, I mean, it would be my house and then it, I'd be that guy. <laughs> Out in, the, in the front. And then Larry's too nice to just say, no, that'd be creepy and horrible. And there's no way in hell that's ever going to happen. He was like, oh, no, well, I'm not sure that the plants would do so well because, you know, they they don't hold that much soil and water. <laughs> he was trying to be nice with his no reaction. <laughs> All right, that's a nasty sound. Let's listen to this as this comes up. Is this ASMR? Is this? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this is another one of those where, see how the hair comes into the into the foam? That is sewn on somehow. I don't understand how it works, but that's pretty amazing. I guess it just chuk, 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 each strand. That's incredible. So I'm keeping this, definitely. I know it's kind of like I'm keeping scalps, but because I have... <laughs> 
have this one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh my God. Oh, totally going to use that for Halloween. Um, see, I mean, right. Or I could do it like as a front patch. Oh, hello. Anyway. <laughs> oh, this one's an even better one. Look at this sucker. If I get rid of the foam, which is actually kind of really gross. Um, and the extra hair. Do I really want to get rid of the hair? All right, it's going in his head. I'll see. You know, I don't want to, like I've said in the past, you don't want to come back and go, oh man, you know, I actually have a use for that now. I mean, when do you have use for these things? You don't know. No, I'm not a hoarder. I just don't throw things away that could potentially be used in art. <coughs> Weird art, creepy art, but still art. So right there, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. All right, this is gonna go on my shelves over here and hide that away. Not hide it away, but pop that over there so it's out of the way. And then we've got the hole in her head. Hole in the head, which is pretty well centered, right? I think that's good, I think it's good. And I think it's enough to be able to put a little pot, one of those plants in. Because remember what I was saying that, um, the little potted plant that I put in um, the like superhero girl that I did, uh, that fit in perfectly. The little four, I think it was a four inch pot from the grocery store. It was actually Ocean State that I got that one, but it's got this red basil in it. That's absolutely gorgeous and works extremely well. All right, so now that that's happened, I wanna be careful with this one, however, because I love the paint on the face. So I'm not gonna be squishing on her and ruin the paint, this paint um, coat, because I, I actually really like it. Um, so I'm gonna to try to keep this as intact as possible. And uh, maybe I'll continue working, even though I'm gonna to need to raise up my chair. Do, 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 do. Oh, there we go, I've got a better, higher angle on her. And I can do uh, more work this way, and I can like shift you maybe this way. All right, I'm repositioning, sorry. Sorry for the jiggles. But I actually don't think I can get a much better angle than where I've got. So let's try tightening this, no, it brings it back down. Oh, Lordy, oh God, don't get, don't get seasick on me. Come on, stay with me. So if we get right there, <laughs> right? All right, so there we go. So I'm still gonna work on the head. I'm gonna empty out the head, but I'm gonna move her further back from you because she's too close right now. And it's an awkward spot for me. So let's adjust over back here. I'm gonna keep her on this. So the bracket that I'm using, if you haven't seen the other episode where I've used this, it's a C bracket that has this adjustable neck to it and it's actually made to go up in these heads. It actually came with one of them as part of the, the package and I spent a little extra money on that one because I knew I could use it for all of them because they're pretty much a standard size. And if they're not, I could always just drill out the hole in the bottom and make it so it fits. So I've got my little folding table that I use as my, as my project table. It's a four foot wood um, folding table. Folding table, I mean like, I fold the legs up, right? It's a, fabulous, it's st heavy, like stupid heavy. Like when I do shows and stuff like that for art shows or craft shows, too heavy. Um, it's hard to manage. But for this sort of thing, I actually like the weight of it. It's very, very useful. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in here. Oh yeah, that fluffing the hair around is not a good idea. Right on the sinuses. So. Mm. Oh, that's helpful. So let's try different things to dig into this head. I vote for this. It is my um, skill saw blade. It's the short one that's made actually for metal. It's got these little teeny weeny See that? Because this is the one made for wood. You see how wide apart those teeth are? It's much longer. The longer one may actually look better. 
It is a little more bendy, but I don't think I'm gonna need to worry about the bendiness. So let's try this. Oh yeah, because I want to, remember the lesson learned, we're gonna go all the way down with getting this foam out of here. And this is gonna be a messy process. Um, so we're gonna dig all this foam out. It's gonna be more difficult though with a smaller hole. Oh, that's incredible. Oh yeah, get in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to comb out her hair a bit time after all of this. Oh my God, what a mess. So last time I did this, you'll remember, it was a giant mess, right? So be prepared that this shit's stuff is going to be um, all over you. So I'm going to put a trash can between my legs, put her head over the trash can and start digging. Oh yeah, that's working well. I just did three cuts, you saw that? I went across, one, two, three. I'm thinking I'm not, I'm gonna start with not doing the grid, but that may prove to be oh, not at all problematic. Ooh, the foam inside here is new. So it's nice and soft. Um, remember on um, basil, basil, the basil head, um, that foam was very different. As it was old, it had gotten to be maybe at the finer times. This that one's catching too much. The, um, the foam had gotten really brittle. Um, which is interesting. You know, with foam like this, I'm not wearing a mask and doing that intentionally. Uh, I, not, well, I mean, you could wear a mask if you want. With this sort of thing, I don't really need a mask. Um, but if you're sensitive to, to stuff like this or if it's getting up in your schnoz and it feels gross, go for it. Oh, yeah digging right in there. It is a little bit more difficult because of the constriction of the hole, but if I just use my finger, individual fingers, since I have those lines cut, um, go, oh, you know what might work actually well in here? Get that. Oh, there we go. Good, good old chunk. Ooh, I'm taking hair with me. That one came out from up above, good. Um, a spoon might work. I was just thinking, it's like, you know, you get um, a cantaloupe or a muskmelon, whatever you want to call a cantaloupe. They're the same thing, I think. Um, well, you know if they're different, but my understanding is I've never heard of muskmelon. I don't think we've ever... Okay. Um, I don't think we'd ever actually, like, used the word muskmelon growing up. It wasn't until I was in the Midwest that I'd heard that term for cantaloupe. And um, so here we go. I've only got a few more minutes and then I've got to leave. But at least we can get this started. But anyway, like a cantaloupe, when you hollow it out, you know, you get the, the nice juicy bits from inside. I could use a spoon. They also have those awesome um, grapefruit knives that are curved. Oh my God, we had those when I was a kid. I I just thought that was, that was, you know, one of what my geek moments was uh, growing up and, or whatever you want to call it, but I would geek out on it. That's what I always called it. I would be like, ah, that's so cool. And other people would be like, what are you talking about? Like, don't mind me, I'm finding that this, that fact that they, somebody actually designed this is absolutely brilliant that you can buy them. They have um, grapefruit knives and they're curved. They're not like super curved like that, but they're they're curved. Oh, come on, let's manage your hair. There we go. And um, so as you go in, it goes right around the curve of the grapefruit. Oh, brilliant, you can just get all the all the, um, the juicy bits of the grapefruit out. And just like I'm taking the juicy bits of her head out right now. And that would actually work really well because they're serrated. Um, in here if you have one lying about that might be something that you want to try out um, might be kind of fun to use that use different stuff this is working really well it's very satisfying to dig into here 
All right, so with the next one, I got to wrap up for today. For the next episode, I'm going to continue taking her uh, head foam out. Oh, yeah. Whew, that's a kind of, kind of a workout. And then we're going to, this has one of those packets inside, which is, I think, how they do the foam, where they probably put the chemicals in, they go, whatever they do, they pour in the secondary chemical, and it goes, and then fills it up with foam, or however they do it, I'm not really sure. They obviously would do it upside down, and then put that little collar thing on her um, later. But um, got to be careful with doing her, that I don't press too hard on her face and ruin the amazing paint job that's already on her. Um, I mean, I can sort of replicate it, but I like it the way it is, so I don't want to screw it up. And, all right, so that's the episode for today. We'll continue going with this. Let me pop her off the holder, shake her out a little bit, all over the floor. So nice to actually have, like, a regular workspace. Um, and... Dun, 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 dun. Look at this, this is, I love it. Oh yeah, look at that. So, getting in there, getting it hollowed out, but I'm gonna do the entire thing. You know, I was originally worried about that the rubber's not gonna be enough to support what I wanna do inside with the plant and stuff like that, and there was kind of a durr moment when I was thinking about it later, I'm like, well, duh, we're filling it, sorry, I'm off screen. We're filling it back with um, soil, which will then reinforce it, dirt. But um, it's not like it's gonna stay hollow, but you know, these are all things that we learn along the way and you're learning with me. So, all right, enjoy your day. Oh my God. Put the love out there. There's never enough love in the world. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Where's, where's my light? Oh, there, hi, yeah. Anyway, uh, enjoy your day. Have a great time and uh, love other people. Love yourself. Put the love out there. Oh, subscribe, like, share. All those things, you know, subscribe and you'll see it. It's, so I'm doing premieres now with these videos. So if you're coming in later on, you won't have seen this. But if you're um, waiting for the next one eagerly, they're coming out every couple days while the series is uh, in in the works. And um, you'll get notices if you subscribe that the next one is going to release whenever it's going to release when it's going to come up. So have a good one. She's, oh, she's in perfect light. La, la, la. Bye.